Hey, and welcome back to my second video in my series on um, how to make a platformer on Scratch. And in the last video, we created a little cat here who falls onto the ground and we can jump. But that is it. And we want more than that. So let us continue. Now, to move left and right, we're going to use two statements. And we're going to put one here. No, not right there. Right here. And one right here. And I'm going to probably zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Oh, what's that? Um, well, I'm going to say if key right arrow pressed. And if key left arrow pressed. Then we're going to do something. Well, I'm going to change the x fill by one if the right arrow is pressed um, because as you go to the right it changes the pixels by po a positive number and with the left arrow i'm going to change the x fill by minus one and then i'm going to uh grab a change x by and we're going to change x by x fill so if we full screen this well, we can move around like this. But you notice our friction is super, super slick. I've not, I'm not even pressing left arrow key. I'm going to press the right arrow key and I'm gonna let it go. And it's just gonna always move three pixels to the right until I press the left arrow. Now it's only moving one pixel to the left, right, I mean. And you can kind of see up right here, on this thing, you can see as we press, it gets higher and higher. And it's not getting lower at all. It should be getting lower. So we're going to be doing that by changing our friction. So to do that, we're just going to set the x fill to whatever it is um, times a number lower than itself. So it's an x fill to x fill times 0 0.8, let's say. And so it's going to get smaller every time. If I do this, it will get like that, and then it kind of like when I let go, just kind of slows down. And it also does not get like super fast. It can only get up to like four. Only about four, yeah. It can't go more than four. Like that. Which is really cool. I love it. Okay, awesome. Now, it seems like we finished our platformer already with the script and all. Like, we can move around stuff. But we haven't because of a couple of things. First off, if we just put some platform above us, like this, and let's put some platform over here, and let's even add a slope. Oops. Kind of a very not like oh anyway like that. So now when I go up the slope, it does not go up the slope. And when I ram into a wall, it goes right through the wall. That can be a problem. If we jump up here, we hit the top and fall back down. And that's good, but it wouldn't have done that unless we did some of that professional coding uh, for the Y. Axis. Now we have to do the y uh, x axis, and the x axis seemed to be working, but we're going straight through walls and slopes, which seems very weird. We should not be doing that. Notice if I'm on here, I cannot jump actually. I can only jump when I'm not touching the ground, which is when I'm not touching the ground out here. When I'm on here touching the ground, so I can't jump. But I can jump when I'm not. And see, if I jump like this, I can actually jump up the slope. And I stay like that, and I can actually go down the slope, fine. But what I cannot do is go up the slope. I just go right through it. So that's the same with this one. I can go right through this, but if I jump right up, I'll actually jump into uh, the top right there. And same with this. I can also jump up into that. And so that can be a problem. So. That is... 
kind of bad right now, so we're going to have to fix that. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, let you get a good look at the script that we've done so far. Uh, we've changed the Y by Y though, we're doing this script and all of the script that I talked about in the last video. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Um, and we're right here right now. So, in here, I'm going to make sure this is always the last, so I'm going to actually put an if else statement here at the end of that. Like that. And this if else statement, is it an if else statement? No, I believe it's just an if statement. So, I cannot really remember, but here, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, it's an if statement. So, if touching ground, or if you wanted to, touching black, or whatever you made your color be. Well, we're going to repeat the absolute value. Um... Where is that? Yeah, so absolute value of x, and it's going to be the absolute value of x, but we're going to add one to it just to make sure it's it's safe. It's not like kind of a um, a number that is a little bit lower than it should be. It's going to be added to one, <laughs> added one by. Okay. Anyway, now, in there, we're going to have an if statement, if touching ground. So, we're just making sure we are still touching ground while we're doing this. Um, but we're going to change y by 1. To do this, we're basically just seeing if it's a slope or not. We're going to come up to a slope. We come up to this. If we come up to this and we touch it, we're going to move up really quickly and see if we're still touching it. If we're still touching it, that means that we're actually... Um, it's the uh, slope is too too tall or it's straight up and down and we cannot cross it. We'll just move back down and move out of the wall. If we come up to a slope up here though, it's going to jump up and we're going to realize we're not touching the um, ground anymore. And we're just going to leave it as it is. So if I just left this script how it was, I would actually float in the air, I believe. So if I went like this, I will hit this. And I actually move up the slope. Never mind. Um, I move up the slope and I move down the slope. So we've got the slope working because if we're touching it, then we're just going to do that. So that works. But the problem is, is we'll float. When I said float, I meant when we touch the ground here. So when I touch the ground here, I start floating up it. Because it's moved up there and it says, okay, it's not, still not working, still not working. It's just going to move up till it does work. We don't want that. If I'm not, if I'm still touching the ground, I just want to move back down. So then I'll say I'll have another if statement in here that uh, checks right if touching ground right after the repeat block, so right here. And if it's true, then we're going to do this, but we're going to change y by minus one. And instead of doing what we've done right here, I'm going to just Take out this, and I'm going to do the ceiling of the abs of x. And the ceiling is just the um, top number. So if I had, like, a number like 1, it, the ceiling would be 1. So I could even just do that. 1. It would be 1. Well, if I just was the slightest bit, 1.1, 1. 1, um, the average, if you did the average, um, I yeah, anyway, if you did the average, oh, that's round. Let's round this one. If you did the average of it, it would just be 1 because it would round to 1. But this one would actually round to 2 because it moves up. And if I get to 2, it's still going to be 2. And then once I get to uh, once I get to 2.00001, just the slightest bit, it will move all the way up to 3. And so that is what the ceiling does. We're going to put that in there. And we're going to put it in the repeat block right there. And so, if that works, or actually, no, sorry, this is what we want, but right before that, we're going to do what we did right here, where we're going to repeat the abs and then change y by minus 1. So, we're just moving back down. That's what this script does here. But what the ceiling part does is it's not going to change y by that number. It's actually going to change x by that number, and the x number that it's going to be changing 
is it just going to be moving my, ourselves out of the wall? So we've just moved up, and if we're touching the wall still, then we're going to move down and out of the wall, and this is going to move us out of the wall. To move out of the wall, we're going to do our script up here that we learned about in the last video, that we say if yvel is 1, then it is going to be... Uh, it's going to be 1. And if it's negative 1, it's going to be negative 1. But if it's 100, it's going to be 1. And if it's minus 100, it's going to be negative 1. No matter what negative number it is, it's going to make it negative. Whatever positive number it is, it's going to make it positive. And that's what this script here does. But the times minus 1 just makes it the opposite of what it is. So we're just going to put it right there. And if we try this out now, we've got a script that we can move up and down the walls with. And we touch a wall. We can still go through, which is not what we want, is it? So we're touching the ground, and we've just moved out of the wall here, right? So we've just moved here. We've moved up the wall, and it worked. And then we've moved down here. So if I run into the wall, we've just moved down. But what the problem is, it's just not moving us out of the wall like we wanted us to. What we wanted it to. And the reason why that is, is because we forgot to change this to XL. Sorry. That's right. Okay, so we forgot to add, make it XL, which makes sense because we're changing X by whatever the Y is. And that just doesn't work because the Y is zero. So now if I run up the wall, it slope works. If I jump up in here, it won't work. It won't go through, which is a good sign. And I also cannot go through here. Which is great i cannot i can't really jump up i can jump up like this and hook on like that but i can't actually go through the wall which is great that's the x that we've done so that's really good now in the next video we're going to add some levels so we can actually when we get to the end of the screen it will actually let us go to the next level and if we touch, we'll also add some lava, maybe some bouncy stuff or something like that. That will make it so that when we touch that, we restart. Uh, or bouncy will go higher than normal. And that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go through here one more time. And let you guys just look at the script real quick. So we have this where the script right here, you can see that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that script. And I will just scroll down here. Just so you guys can see, because sometimes, I know in some YouTube videos that I watch, it really kind of stinks for me because I don't really get to see the scripts very well. It's kind of, I just have to listen to the people because the fo fo uh, footage is, um, the, the, the pixels are not good enough. It's kind of scratchy and stuff. So I, anyway, I'm just going to do this so you guys can see the script. We got that past the video. And like that. And so that is the script that we've done for the X. Now, in the next video, we'll do what I told you. And so please remember to subscribe and follow CanCode um, for part three. See you later.